Let's see how I can manage this. couple of weeks I've really wanted to get something that I can fish from something portable something I can just like throw in the back of my car and after doing a ton of research I just really like the boat brand and I ended up settling on the boat breeze arrow um, this is one of the new inflatable paddle boards I really want it because of how compact it goes into a small case this is a backpack slash carrying case you can bring it anywhere I want and that's including going on road trips, going to the Keys, to all the springs that I want to visit. So I'm going to unbox it real quick, pump it up. I've literally never opened the black bag before. And uh, I'm going to just go take it for a quick test. I also would really like to use this to do some uh, free diving and spear fishing off the beach. This is the fin for the bottom of the board. And I think this is the repair kit that they said it came with comes with a pump it also comes with a paddle and some tools not used to it but once I get the hang of it it will be much quicker for me to do it only took about five minutes to blow it up but it does you know, your arms get a little bit of a burn towards the end when the, when the PSI starts to kick up, but it honestly was not bad at all. So they say you just have to twist this and then put this in. I don't know if I'm gonna lose. Yeah, see it has a safety valve. So you actually don't lose any PSI. Then you just tighten that. And perfect. Ready to just throw in the water. I have the nice vans with the Japanese laces. I love these things. Board matches my phone case. Yep, as I expected. Oh, I just realized I forgot to take the fins off and I forgot my big fin. There, that's it. Looks good to me. Well, right away, the initial impressions are this thing is extremely stable, way more stable than I thought, um, more stable than kayaks that I've been on. I thought it wasn't going to be stable at all. And it actually glides very easily through the water. Not sure why, but uh, it is impressing me. So let's see. Okay, it does not feel tippy. I can, let's see if I can stand up. Wow. This is nice. This is very nice. If I stand up, I definitely want to lengthen the paddle. Wow, this thing is perfect. If I want to compare it to a kayak, since I've only really ever been on kayaks, it doesn't track as well uh, as a traditional kayak that I've been on. So the front moves a little bit when you're paddling, <clears throat> but it's not, enough to like cause any issues especially not in this calm water right here doesn't have as much storage but i didn't want something with storage i wanted something that i can put like a spear gun on or just bring a fishing pole with me and put like a little backpack with gear in the front and that was it i think i have a very good low center of gravity and i can stand up on almost anything and i don't think anything feels tippy to me 
um, no matter what kayak or anything I've been in. But I can definitely see much bigger, taller people who are uncoordinated or unbalanced stand on this thing. And this is the smallest board they have, actually, that's inflatable. It's just such high quality. You know, there are much cheaper inflatable paddle boards that you can get that aren't Boat. Boat is a very premium brand and it's, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than most other brands, but just the quality of it, um, it has a two year warranty, I think on the website it said two year warranty. I didn't even confirm that to the dock. I'll tell you what's going on right now. I just drove a little bit more south because I came out to the Danube Pier. I, I came over, I did the same exact process. I blew up the, the paddle board and everything. The only issue is it's a little bit later in the day, a little bit windy, the current is ripping. I got my my fins, I got my mask, got my snorkel. I just met a really cool guy over here who's about to be spool diving out there. You know, he asked if we wanted to go out there at the same time. I said, sure, he said he's waiting on a few people, so I might just paddle out there in a little bit. I'm gonna start getting ready and I'm gonna probably just head out there, see how it, see how it is, see if I can handle it. Yeah, like what would you want me to tell you? Me? Um, I've never, I'm, I've never I'm done that. Float, though. What? I'm floating. Look. So I've never done that before, but you can, you can get onto the back. I actually have my flag back there. Let's see. You can't, you can't. Yeah, we'll try. I'll give you, I'll give you the first lobster I get. <laughs> would you? What's your name? What's your name? Joseph. Okay. I'm Nick. Yeah. Let's see how I can manage this. Looks like we found the jacks. I just hopped out of my kayak. Kayak. Out of my paddleboard. There's my friend Joseph right there, who I just met. He's scuba diving, so he's deep, sitting way deep down there, right in the bottom. Let's do this. All right, so first dive on the new board was very successful. Only a few things that I noticed. Uh, I do need an anchor, like a small anchor with about 60, 70 feet of rope. And that would be perfect for diving anything like 20 feet and under. Cause I had to swim around out there just with a, the leash from my dive flag attached to the front of the board and then on my wrist. And that was a little bit annoying cause I couldn't really dive down because it was holding me up. And that's about it. Oh, plastic bag. And that's about it. Successful first dive. 
I'm just gonna bring it back to the pier um, in the water. It's so much easier just to let it float next to me and bring it over than to drag it or pick it up or carry it on the sand. And uh, heading in now. Really happy with the new board. Gonna go get more food and uh, see you guys next video.